Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. Um, following one comment that I saw, which is uh, about ARM and how Windows could be shifting to a new architecture like Macs. Macs are moving on to their own um, ARM-based processor. Uh, so the M1, the M2 are basically um, ARM CPUs. They're a different type of CPU. Uh, think about them. Um, most of us use ARM CPUs often in our smartphones. A lot of Chromebooks also are running on ARM CPUs. So this, the ARM CPUs are a different thing. It's um, different architecture. You can't run the standard Windows on those. You have to have a Windows that is made to run on those CPUs. So one of the things in the comments is maybe Windows 10 could be the shift to, you know, ARM and uh, to the different architecture that it brings. And the problem is uh, the idea isn't bad because, I mean, there would definitely be an interest in having some uh, ARM CPU that would run uh, Windows. And, I mean, Windows 11 on ARM exists like Windows 10 on ARM exists. But do you see them anywhere? We don't see them anywhere. And the reason is very simple. As long as I think Microsoft will rely on Qualcomm that has ARM CPUs that are not even, you know, good enough to, to be close to the M1 and the M2 that Apple did. Um, as long as Windows is not tweaked a little better for ARM, it can't happen because it's too sluggish. It has a big problem there. If we would move on ARM, there's one major thing that needs to happen. Windows has been based on x86 or Intel and AMD technology for such a long time that if we move on ARM, there will need to be a compatibility for x86 software and apps. It is a must because if it's not there, people won't move. A great example that we had where it's a big flop is uh, Windows 8. Uh, if you guys remember, there was a version of Windows 8 that came out that was ARM only. Um, it was actually called Windows RT. Windows RT, when we moved on, was a big problem because people bought these devices running ARM and then I remember there was a period of time when I got flooded with, you know, uh, messages and comments of what, why is it I can't install Google Chrome? Why is it I can install my favorite software? What's wrong with this machine? People didn't understand that it's a different architecture. People just see Windows and they expect to have the Windows behavior. So that means if we do move on, and that would be nice actually to do to do so because there's a lot of advantages. Intel CPUs are really not power efficient. You know, if you have one of the really the best laptops running Intel, you might have, you know, five, six hours of battery. Difficult to have much more than that in many cases. Um, a super efficient and well-maintained Windows settings and all of performance you might get eight, nine hours if you're careful and the screen isn't too bright. And, you know, it's difficult to get really a long, long battery life on any Intel machines with Windows. The ARM CPUs promise that. The ARM CPUs are much less, uh, they're actually much better in energy efficiency. So that would be nice. But as long as we are dependent on Qualcomm, as long as Microsoft doesn't decide, let's make our own ARM chips. Um, I don't think that future, for, for now, that future isn't there. Um, it would be nice, but and it still exists. I mean, they're not killing it off. But uh, for now, it doesn't have a future. As long as a major change or, or Qualcomm comes up with a completely new ARM CPU that is a million times more powerful than what they're actually doing right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.